How's it going YouTube? It's Dave from SignalWarrant.com. Hey, I want to take a few minutes to show you a function that I wrote uh, a while back to force check-in from a client or a server for that matter to the WSUS, the Windows Server Update Services server uh, remotely. You can do this to one computer or a series of many. And I'll kind of walk you through first the script, how it works, and then a demo of how you can use it. So this top portion here is just defining the parameters for the function. So the only parameter we have is computer name. And that'll be a string. So you can use one computer name or a list of many. So the first thing it does is checks the Windows Update service. If it is stopped, it runs this invoke command to start that service. And there's a little sleep timer here. So it gives it time to start that service before it moves on to the next uh, process. So the second phase here is it's running this wuauclt.exe forward slash detect now. So that is the command line utility that will force a WSUS check-in. So this is not really even PowerShell. This is command line uh, utility that you're running via the invoke command commandlet. And some of this other stuff, the right verbose, that's just uh, telling you what the script is doing at that given point in time. And you'll see that during the demo. So if the service is already started, uh, it'll just go straight to the check-in and not worry about starting the service up here. So that's what this else portion here is. And that's it. It's pretty simple. So I'll show you a few ways you can do this. If you look in the example, so here's how I can do it to one machine. CL1 is the virtual machine that I am in right now. So you'll notice I didn't get any real feedback there to tell me what happened. So that's the, uh, that's why I put these little right verbose segments in here. So if I use same command with the dash verbose, it'll give me a little more feedback. So you can also do this with a string of computers or a series of computers in a string format. So I have a DC1 that's also running on this host. And this is going to run that command on both CL1 and DC1. Now if I have a whole list of computers, say I want to run this on hundreds of machines. I don't want to type all this, so I have it here somewhere. Okay, I guess I will type it. So for this computer name parameter, I can get con content from path. Computers.txt. So that's just a text file on this uh, virtual machine that simply has two computer names in it. That's actually these two computer names. And I get the same kind of thing there. So that's a few different ways you can run this thing. Pretty simple command, but it will save you a whole lot of time. Uh, if you have many machines across your enterprise that you need to, to force a WSS check on, uh, check in on. So I appreciate you stopping by and until the next time. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can contact me at the social media links listed there. And until the next time.